right so basically uh as i was exploring in the previous episode i told you guys that i will explore this area right so we're gonna explore and i believe we have uh, a contract on this uh it's power it's a nest okay must be destroyed so the nest must be destroyed so i believe it's down here Ooh, swampy area my god we're gonna do some explore and check it out whoa whoa who's that whoa it's an elite oh my god it's so exciting i'm so excited come here boy oh my god they're coming faster kill him kill him kill him kill him Poison, eh? Oh, it released uh, poison gas. Okay, I'm about to die. So let's see, am I gonna die? Yes, I think so. Very well said. Very well said. Okay, I'm gonna die. Yeah, no antidote. Ah, there you go. What the heck? It doesn't work. What are doing uh, poison? Wow. Oh, another one. Wow. A group of them. Oh, they are tough, man. <laughs> it's so fun. You know when the monsters get tougher and tougher? That is where the game starts, man. I love it. Oh, there's a beautiful chest right there. Waiting for me. Okay, never mind. Oh, Lauria. Yeah, never mind. Okay, to get it. So, as the monster gets stronger, that's where the challenge comes in, no? But I'm, I think I'm just too strong. LOL. Thanks to the bomb. The bomb's good. Fantastic, man. Okay, that part is travel, so I'm not gonna go there. What's that? Do you saw that? Oh, it's a monster. Oh. This place is very nice. The smell of haze. The haze PSI is very high, so please, it's very unhealthy. Oh. The music changed, but there's no monster. Oh my god, it's right in front of me. There's a chest right there, baby. There's a chest right there. Oh my god! <clears throat> Sorry, that's a, that's a rare. Oh my goodness, that's a good loot, baby. Oh god damn. Okay, I am very confused. Where the heck am I? The haze is get, getting worse. There's a monster, there's a monster, there's a monster I can see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Haha, <laughs> lol. Whoa! That was fun. 
That was very fun. I wish that they can implement an area loot because most of the monsters or the loots are always in one area. So it would be great if they can implement the looting area loot. I mean, what am I talking about? Area loot system, yes. Okay, there's a monster nearby. I can hear the song. Oh, hello. What you guys doing? Lol, it's a fail. Obsidian. Is there a chest over there on top? Come on, to level up. What's that? Oh, it's a uh, just a gathering item. Okay, there's a skill altar nearby. Hello, dear. Ah, there we go. Thank you very much. Whoa, whoa, the camera is crazy. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay. Ooh, what's that? I really love explore. So... Wait, I can't go in. I think we can... Uh, maybe it's a part of the storyline, which I don't know. We can just go elsewhere. Oh, what's this? Wait, why why the mission are different ah? Huh? No, I want to do this one. Ah yes. Oh there's a lot of gathering fruits. Wow, a lot of gathering item here. Let me take all of them. Full pockets. What's that? Achievement lock full pockets. Just imagine if you are in the real life, you explore and you get lost. Oh my goodness. It's very scary actually. Wait, someone here. Look at my freaking Oh, someone's there, you see that? Oh, it's a camp. Oh. Are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, Sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned as for the other natives their behavior can be quite odd they'll spend hours just staring into the void but as soon as i come close they chase me away they frighten me i must admit there is a heavy veil of evil here i feel it but i'm not able to find from whence it comes perhaps you should talk to them they may speak to you Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Wait, what machine is this? Ah, okay, okay. So they are the missionaries. Okay, okay. No wonder they know Patrice. Anyway. Ah, this is a place that we... Ooh, there's a camp. Campfire. Checkpoint in the sky. Ooh, all right, baby. Whoa. Village of Vadiluga. <laughs> Lol. Vadilug. 
Man, this is so cool. So basically, we have explored the whole map. Huh? Amazing. Man, why the music like this is so scary? Why there's another mission here? Ah, okay. Let's save guys before we do anything. And let's go in and talk about this. Whoa, what the heck is this man? The creepy feeling. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir du mud, renaik say. Oi and the donegad, yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But... It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you. And we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Qua awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with the bounty. Man, you're so weird. Are they doing something or like a ritual or something? Because the music is telling me. And they are praying to that thing, that, that tree. And I believe it will be a boss in the future. Or maybe later. I don't know. I can feel that vibe. That ritual thing vibe. Bird dear to mud on all Menawi. I am Dirdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything. And that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a sect, Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say. Man, that's weird. And why she got a exclamation mark? Let's talk to her again. Maybe... I think it's a, a quest or something. What do you seek? Concerning this story about a sect... Enough! Enough questions! I have not... Uh huh. That is so weird. Oh my god. Question? Okay. okay. Let's ask them. Oh, oh, oh. Calm down. No weapon. No weapon. Wait, before that, I want to change my weapon. Ah, yes. No weapon, my darling. Wait, am I going right way? Oh, sorry. My bad, guys. My bad. Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Can't you leave us alone, Munsenaik? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madrenaikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? 
Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it is the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gacane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. This is a delicate question. But would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? Oh. I am not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donegad. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Uh huh. Okay, lady, whatever. Somewhere at the top, then. Excuse me. Bear tear to mud, Anal Manawi. What do you want? What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Anal Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead. In the rain that quenches us and drowns us. In the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. This question will seem strange to you. But do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. 
There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to be fast, and it will only work once. Ooh. This is very fun. It will only work once. Sounds fun yet difficult. Okay, so down here it says that divert the worries man attention. Um we can actually talk to the girl again, I guess. Or we can clumsy step on it. Let's try the the lady first. Is it a lady or something? Is it the same person we talk with? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid... Very well. But be brief then. Because it is not good fun. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Danae God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Vogelendijk, the next servant of Danae God. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really need to go inside. I must verify something. If you can help us... This request is strange. I know it is for you as well. But we must prove that these suspicions cast upon our village are not true. These people of Teleme will not give up their search without this. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. There's a horrible mask. How can someone wear such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature? This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. 
Oh. This yes. altar is incredibly morbid. What the heck? I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult. Far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that... Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you wanted to say. <laughs> Lol, old man. Ha! A trust in your face. Whoa, what the heck is this? This painting is frightening. Yeah. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Before I want to save this. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully, he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Hide at the village exit and wait for the night to fall. Okay. Uh, we're gonna wait for the night first. Eh? Oh, chair. Sorry, I thought this is a campfire. Lol. Pills, eh? Is it night time? Maybe it's night time. Uh, it is already night time, so. Why not? Oh, village exit. Okay. we could hide and wait here then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall my child it's time to wake up our nervous friend is here oh he's running he's running he's running he's right there Like got monsters, yeah. Bloody hell! It's so fast. Pali pali pali, where you go? Shit! Hurry up guys, hurry up! Oh, he's so fast! Whoa, what the heck is this place? Oh god!
What the fuck? <laughs> That's fail. Whoa. happening you are so pale did the lightning struck tree speak to you in a way oh my god i saw many images they were so real as if i was the tree itself do tell this vision is surely the key to the portal i was this tree and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly the heavens caught fire several times and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel and the rain began to fall on my roots and at the very heart of my being I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. Man, that's creepy. Very creepy. Wait, there's one. It's not lighter. Oh, something. This stone is blackened. Yeah, it's blackened. Eaten away. I think it is supposed to evoke death. Okay, let's try. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Oh god. Our enemies. Tell us again. Exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strong storm. that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the fire. lightning strike and pierce me through L and through. A lightning. sinister warmth took Warm. hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. Okay. Uh, what, what did she say? Shit, I forget. <laughs> I know it's just warm. What's this? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain this drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? Tom, there, I remember it's a uh, lightning. Stone. Tom, lightning. That I felt this. Um, fire, warm, right? Then they have a fire. Hey, hello, hello, relax, relax. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. Oh you shit, I'll do wrong again. Okay, let, let, let's let, listen to the conversation again. Eh, no conversation. Ah. Okay, now maybe let, let's just guess. Okay, let's just guess. Okay, so wind and then uh the light, the lightning. After that, the this this fire. Let me remember she said something with death. Is it? Ooh. Now I remember this uh water right. Oh my god, I'm right. <laughs> I was just guessing only. And the infant. You did it right. By awakening these stones in the right order, Whoa. the door opened. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is so scary, man. Bloody sanctuary. Whoa. What is this place? 
There's so many blood down there. Okay, okay, we need to save first in case of anything. Quiet. Close duis atu da yam canade dole. Tadulan verandi allow ne les again ole vei. Closi garamam e telami ol flinau ich egrem. Closi gedem da yentis ol arabeni a ol slai. Vanqua sa kengedem fladem a digalem. Linquid winter bus o galamsani. Tugom benis gremos nigawi. Renkasi e klimadrem de negao edent. Close duis a ruiect nes diri. What a strange ritual. I have never seen anything like it. The rituals of my village are not quite as scary. In any case, Telemé's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Donegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Dedra. That is creepy. That's all I can say. Very creepy. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. The ritual. I've never seen anything like it. I hoped you'd be able to explain what they were trying to achieve. As you can see, my companion is not a Renaigze like the others. She bears our likeness. Please share your knowledge with us. Grant us the chance to understand. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking. Oh my god, this is really scary, man. <laughs> and I level up, thank you. So face to face with the demon. <laughs> oh my god, this is scary. But she got a quest to give me. How about we talk to her again? What do you seek? I need to be going. Well, I will am sick. Okay, then never mind. I, I will am I don't know what the heck she's saying, but I think... Uh, you must go. <laughs> okay, so let me check the map. Oh. Oh, it's another place. Interesting. Face to face with the demon. Let's go and uh, continue this part of the storyline. It's so interesting. I just love it, you know. <laughs> 